Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it is Tuesday after work and I am heading home and I'm happy about that. It is 52 degrees so it's definitely fall weather which makes me happy happy. It's kind of a gloomy day today but it's not bad. Uh, we had the daylight savings time over the weekend, which was kind of nice. It made Sunday kind of last forever. I mean, it really did seem like a long day, which was great because I was knitting, knitting, knitting. And um, the only problem with that, though, is that the day gets, you know, dark so quickly. So, like, by 6.30 at night, it's totally pitch dark. And it's crazy because it makes me tired and... I don't necessarily like daylight savings time. I almost wish it would stay the other time all year and then maybe if it was gonna do daylight savings to make it so it was dark at 7.30 now and then like make that the time. I don't know, like so move two hours one year the other way and then I don't know. But that's just my opinion and nobody has asked me. So today is voting day. Hope you guys voted. I the, there was a 30 minute line at 5.40 this morning, so kind of crazy, but I'm glad to see people getting out and voting. Ugh. <laughs> and I still haven't even, I haven't done anything with my little thingamabobber, so I do apologize. I have not even, I don't think about it until I'm in the car and then it's too late. I can't really shop for one now <sighs> I just need to get on Amazon and do that um, I'm a little bit I don't know I'm a little bit stressed out about Christmas already I don't know why exactly I'm kind of a goofball when it comes to things like that and I know that I put the pressure on myself rather than just enjoying the day and that's what I'm trying to do more of and I'm also trying to think of what my year my word will be for next year so my word for this year was strong or is strong and I am instead of making a new year's resolution I just come up with a word of the year so I've done it for a few years I think my first year was joy my second year was me this year is strong or strength and then next year, I haven't quite decided what I want that word to be. There's a few things that pop in my head, and I know that there are things that I need to do, like organization and maybe simplify, but those aren't necessarily things that I want to do. So I know that I should probably pick something like that and challenge myself so that I do you know, work toward that, but gosh, it's so overwhelming right now for me to think about trying to, like, I don't know, organize. I love to be organized, but organizing my craft room and like, I don't know, things like that just really kind of stress me out. Although I did a really good job on my yarn, I need to do the same thing to like my decorations and some of the things that I have. Um, it's, it's just a lot. And I have like another room that uh, has all of my decorations in it that used to be my old scrapbook room. So it's, it's like the spare room, but I don't have a spare bed or anything in it. So <sighs> there's that. Um, so I don't know what my word is going to be yet, but those are things that I'm kind of already thinking. And I've already started thinking about presents and I think a lot of people do that early but I like get like my lists going and it's gonna be different this year than before I'm trying to plan it for the for work as well and you know things like that so that's just kind of what's on my mind right now and it does make it a little bit overwhelming and then I found out that I had some time at work that I need to use some hours some um, time off that I need to use or I will lose it so I've been trying to figure out days that I want to take off now that's not a bad thing that's a good thing but um, I'm surprised I have any left because I feel like I've you know with my surgery and stuff earlier this year I, I used some but um, nonetheless I still have some which is good I guess in a way I hadn't really thought about it but I haven't taken a vacation so that's you know, the big majority of it. 
So I do have a few days off coming up, which is fun because then I can make sure that I have things wrapped and try not to stress about things. Actually, for Thanksgiving, I think it's, Katie is going, I think I've already told you guys this, but Katie's going to St. Louis and it's just gonna be me and Dennis and Alex. And I think I'm just gonna make reservations somewhere and we're gonna go out and get something because that's a lot of work for three people and I don't even eat very much. So it's a whole lot of work for a little bit of benefit. So I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna save, like make a turkey for Christmas and do all of the extras for Christmas and do, um, macaroni and cheese and stuff like that at Christmas time. So that's my plan right now. So that makes Thanksgiving really easy. But then uh, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, and I think at Christmas time we're also going to go visit Dennis's aunt and uncle so I can figure out that as well. Like, I don't know. If, I mean, maybe that'll be our big meal. I don't know. I don't know why I'm yawning. Because it's already getting dark. Not really. I'm teasing. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where my head is right now. But other than that, things are going really well. Work is status quo, which is great. The kids are status quo. Katie is doing awesome. Alex is doing fabulous. Um, Dennis is doing great. He's working and um, he's back to work after his hernia operation and uh, things are pretty normal right now for us, which is fabulous. I need to take my car in to get it serviced soon, uh, just for its oil change and however many mile thing, I can't even tell you how many miles, um, 60,000 or something like that, whatever it is, is what I have to do my checkup. I don't know if it has that many, I guess I can check. Oh, 41,000, so. So I need to do that sometime before, I'd like to do it before it gets too cold. And then um, I'm going to be going to Chicago soon, <sighs> which is great. And I'm sending out less Christmas cards than usual, but I'll hopefully have those sent or ready to send from Chicago or maybe I'll even get stamps in Chicago. I did that one year. That was kind of fun. I um, found a post office and just bought my stamps and stamped everything and sent it out from Chicago. So I had it all ready to go. So maybe I'll do that again this year. I don't know. But um, we're looking forward to that trip and looking forward to um, just having some downtime, which sounds fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. There's a police officer like parked on bunny down there. I don't know if he is. I don't know. It was weird. And I need to get over. Um, but he didn't have anybody stopped. I'm not sure if he was just kind of waiting and watching for people, which I think is crazy. I don't like that. Give everybody a fair shot. You don't just sit there and wait for people. At least my opinion and I'm not a police officer so you know maybe I don't know something maybe I don't know something <laughs> chances are good I don't know something I don't know anything about anything <laughs> I don't know nothing about birth of no baby that was from some movie I don't know why that came to my head but it did I think it was from the movie and then I lost it. The one with Oprah Winfrey. The color purple. That was a good movie. Old movie, but it was a good movie. And I've heard that I need to watch This Is Us. So if any of you guys watch that, let me know what you think. I also heard that I need to watch one that's recent. Um, I have no idea what it's called, but it's a new show as of this fall, I guess. That's supposed to be really good. Now, I am still watching The Good Doctor. I think that's good. That's about the only TV show that I'm watching. I tried to watch The Connors, you know, like the new Roseanne. 
I just couldn't like it. I don't know. It just, I don't know what my problem is. I don't know if I truly didn't like it, which I think is what it was. I just didn't enjoy it. Or if I didn't like it because I didn't like that Roseanne's not on it. I don't see, and I don't think I'm that dedicated to her that I would think that I didn't like it just because it changed. I just don't think I enjoyed the plot. And I even thought the acting was worse than usual. Now I've only seen two episodes and I think that that might be the only two that they've had, but um, there may be more now, but I think I watched it last week. But either way, I did not enjoy it. So let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy it. Um, and then what else you guys are watching for the fall. Um, Cause yeah, I know I want to watch Gilmore Girls again. I want to do a binge. No, I was going to do that with Katie over Thanksgiving, but like I said, my girl isn't going to be home. So, oh well, <clears throat> well I am almost home. So I'm going to let you guys go. I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight. I need to figure out something. It's probably just going to be leftovers because that's what I know I have. Um, I made some like, I made a roast on Sunday and then I used leftovers to make some sort of soup out of the roast yesterday and that's, I know that there's plenty of that left so that's probably what we're going to have for dinner. So yeah, I guess I figured it out. Okay, well I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.